The three key words that you need to know when dealing with Plotinus are the one, intellect, and soul. Beyond the visible world, there is the one, which is the indivisible ultimate reality. Below that is intellect, which is a divisible reality. Intellect is very similar to Plato's realm of ideas. It's where you find the platonic forms. Between the intellect and the corporeal sensory world, as a link between the two realities, Plotinus interposed the universal soul. Part of it is directed towards the intellect and part to corporeal reality, which it creates and within which it is embedded. The souls of men are part of the cosmic soul. Basically, the one doesn't have a cause. It causes itself. It's its own cause. Everything that we know kind of unfolds from the one. Everything has its origin in the one. The external activities of the one result in intellect. Analogously, the external activities of intellect result in soul. What you have to keep in mind is that this unfolding doesn't happen over time. It's not something temporal. It's atemporal. That's just how things are ontologically. The term philosophers use for this language of unfolding or unpacking is emanation. So the idea is that what is full must overflow, as Plotinus says. Thus, the intellect emanates from the overflow of the one, and similarly, the soul emanates from the overflow of intellect. So, while in Plato, the relationship between the transcendental world and the corporeal is that of idea to phenomenon, or to put it in different words, original to copy, for Plotinus, all of being is of one substance. 